morning, my name's James Hughes, Chief Market Analyst here at Scope Markets, and this is your daily briefing on Thursday, the 30th of July. European markets are set for a fractionally higher open Thursday after the US Federal Reserve held interest rates steady but vowed to use its full range of tools to support the ailing economy. European stocks look set to follow the cautiously optimistic tone set in Asia overnight where markets broadly eked out modest gains led by a 1% climb for Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index. Following its two-day monetary policy meeting, the Federal Open Markets Committee also vowed to maintain its bond purchases and the array of lending and liquidity programs aimed aimed at shoring up the economy amid the coronavirus fallout. The central bank warned that the, although activity had picked up from its trough, the US economy is still well below pre-pandemic levels and would be heavily dependent on the course of stimulus for the virus to continue. Corporate earnings will be high on investors' agenda on Thursday, with Credit Suisse reported a 24% increase in their income before the opening bell this morning. However, later this afternoon, we will be looking at data from both Amazon and Apple, which of course will be closely watched and have the potential to move markets. There's also a big day on the economic calendar with US GDP for the second quarter due for release. Expectations are that we will see anything around a 30% contraction in the second quarter. We will also get the weekly initial jobless claims, which yet again are expected to show that almost 1.4 million Americans claimed unemployment benefit this week.